What is up, guys? Welcome to Nord DIY. Some of you might have uh, followed me here on the channel. Know I have some problems with the engines. They've been losing performance on high RPMs, so I'm trying to figure out what that is, uh, why they do that, and then I just started looking a little bit into the service manual. They started talking about spark plugs could be an issue. So I started doing some research on spark plugs, understanding more about spark plugs, and apparently there's something called gap in the spark plug. And I thought this would be pre-gapped to specification. Another funny thing, guys, about these, uh, this is 4.3 LX engines from around 1996, is that the service manual says a gap of one millimeter and another part of the same service manuals uh, states 0 0.9 millimeters. Then, like, um, generally speaking about spark plugs, if you have too big gap, which I think these have, then uh, you can get poor performance at high RPMs, and that is exactly why I'm uh, facing here. So I replaced the spark plugs and maybe a month later I got the problem. I didn't have, I could like drive really fast before that. So after replacing the spark plugs, the issue actually came. I didn't think about much about that. I thought new spark plugs would be good, but probably it's the wrong gap on them. So we're gonna pull one out, measure it and see which gap it is and then check all of them. Six there and six more on that one. So a total of 12. And check those, do them one by one, so I don't keep uh, or I don't lose track of the ignition lines or ignition cords. All right, so where are the spark plugs on a Mercruiser 4.3? What you do is you just need to be here, front on the engine, follow it down, and you go down. You're going under the exhaust manifold, and then you'll see a cord here. Yeah, this line, this is ignition cord, and it goes in there. So that's a spark plug right there. So again, under the uh, exhaust manifold. If you didn't know that, yeah, bonus, bonus tip. So let's uh, start with uh, pulling one out, check the gap, and gap it correctly, and put it back. All right, let's get going. So first of all, I brought some uh, gloves here, good to have. So the funny thing here is, this is the original one. Gonna have a look at that later. So I had to buy a separate one. And we'll check that, why that is. This is a quarter inch or something. So, but then I also need a third one, or at least two of them. I uh, also need this one. So I need to switch between two of those and that will be more uh, apparent as we get going. And this are a 16 millimeter socket. And that's actually 16 millimeter. I will describe more why I need two of these sockets. Okay, so here we have a pretty good view actually of the uh, ignition cord and the spark plug. It's right up there. I think we're gonna do that one in terms of illustration, I'll probably show you how the stuff is done. So let's pull the cord. Uh, it's quite narrow down here because you got the fuel filter housing and also uh, some coolant hose going here. So yeah, we can uh, try to grab it. Socket in there, like so. My wrench on. Start uh, this 
stuffing it. You'll remove the wrench, twist it by hand. And if you come loose, there we got it. There's the spark plug. Well, looks pretty good actually. In terms of the gap. Need to check that. Yeah, and here you can see the problem I have with the with this socket. Because when I go to reinstall this, this is way too deep. And I need to switch to the other one. It's more shallow. And then I have this third one came with a set. Doesn't even sit. So that one's worthless. And this one where I can start threading it. It's too thick. So I need to use the other one to get it nice and tight. Due to the limitations between spark plug socket and uh, exhaust manifold. All right, let's get this and uh, check the gap and take it from there. So now I'm thinking I'm just holding this here and then just tap it lightly top here and uh, set the gap to 0 0.9 and then reinstall it. That's good. Let's uh, reinstall that one. Just the uh, first one. Start throwing it by hand. You don't cross th thread anything. And that's starting to set. Remove that one and use the good one that actually uh, can be used all the way. Don't forget to put the cord back on, like so. All right, one down, 11 to go. All right, guys, so now I've done all the uh, 12 spark plugs, gapped them. Uh, I think it's gonna be better, but we need to start them later in the season. It's too cold, and uh, we're still not in the water. Some of them were a little bit loose, so uh, could have been that. Give, uh, could give a blow by, maybe. I don't know. Give them some performance issues. But uh, okay, so now it's done. I showed you where the spark plugs are. Actually, the ones in the middle are the uh, hardest to get uh, get to. Ones in the back of the engine. For me, it's uh, was the easiest ones, but yeah, it depends on how your boat is constructed. But good. Now it's done and see you in the next one.